the Sefer of Lemech. In its fragmented state, bear with me. We're going to try to read through it. Methuselah, having come to ask Hanak about the fate of the watchers. Hanak relates to Methuselah how the fallen watchers have petitioned Hanak to write up their prayers to Yahweh for mercy, lamenting about their dreadful circumstances and how bleak that outlook for them. After informing Methuselah in full cons concerning the words of a petition of the watchers, he speaks to Methuselah and elaborates on the fate of the fallen watchers and explains why they have not been granted forgiveness for their transgression, iniquity, sins. It is columned at this point, and as the columns come out, and all of us from that with all we might undertake an adulterous act. All that thou shalt, thou wilt intensify thy anger and will be unrelenting for who is there the heat of thy anger the simple and the humble and the lowly ones quiver and tremble and now we are prisoners this hasten to the to relent from thy anger. By thy anger, since we will depart to the house, the great Kodesh Echad, the great Kodesh One. By the anger, Yahweh, since we will depart to the house, and now thy hand has drawn near to strife, because he ceased his words at the time of our imprisonment. And to do away with all a fire that has appeared before Yahweh Tezavot, Yahweh of the Shamayim them and attacking from behind them and no longer seeking favor and forgiveness from Yahweh Tezavot, Yahweh of eternity before the Yahweh of eternity. We fragment were descending and with the women and also the mystery of wickedness, which times and the mystery that we did not make known, not until the mystery, whether they be great. The day which are all your sons and medicines acts of sorcery and divination? <coughs> the earth, <coughs> excuse me, the earth, and that will I seek to the deed that unto now the dry land to establish I have given all of them. This is one fragment, and then the other side of the fragment is we're descending with the women and also the mystery of wickedness, which times at the mystery that we did make known, not until the mystery. So we've read those parts. I think they go together. Uh, the other side is 
striking for striking against. There are excerpts out of here that the editors have taken out. I can tell that. Uh, them, a strong bond, and from, and as a curse for all flesh, Yahweh. And by messengers he sent to you to the earth and to go down to strengthen the people what mankind is to do for the Eretz, the earth, he did do to them and also to all flesh. And we're past the fragmented part. We're skipping all of the commentary and chapter 2. So, Methuselah reports to Lamech the words of Hanak, Lamech marries Betenos and has a passionate sex with her. She conceives and gives birth to a son of glorious and angelic appearance. Lamech is extremely afraid and believes that his wife had whoopee with an angel. He was very angry with his wife, but his wife promises that she has not slept with any other being than other than Lamech. Lamech, still not convinced, goes to his father Methuselah for help Methuselah goes to Hanak to learn the truth about the fathers, father of Betenos' son. Methuselah finds his father, Hanak, and explains to him why he has come to him. So that's the paraphrase of what it says. So, this is the verse 29. My father... Metusila, the, there is a commentary on a uh, sefer that shows the different names and how they differ. I um, can't really go through that, but we'll just sound them out as they're written here. My father, Metusila, reported in Nuk, Enoch's words unto me, and afterwards I went to Birakivel, uh, my uncle, and asked him and for his daughter, uh, Bit Anus, that she might be a wife unto me. And he gave her to me, and I went in unto her and knew her, and she loved me in the heat of intercourse, and I would hear the gasping of her breath in her breast, and sharing with her sexual pleasure was heavenly. And, pardon me, I'm blushing here, uh, thus she conceived and became pregnant. And when the time of her labor came, she gave birth, and out came a child of disturbing appearance. His appearance was like that of a Melakim, an angel. His body was white as snow, and red as a blooming rose, and the air, hair of his head and his long locks were white as wool and his eyes beautiful, and when he opened his eyes, light shone from his eyes, and he lighted up the entire house like the light of the sun, and the whole house was a very bright, and her son was being held in the hands of the midwife. But... He suddenly arose from her hands and opened his mouth and began to praise Elohim and speak to him as a son speaks to a father. Column 2 Then suddenly it occurred to me that the connection was from 
the conception was from the watchers. The seed from Kodesh 1's to the Nivalawim did he belong. And my mind wavered concerning the infant. Then I, Lamech, was upset. So I approached Betanus, my wife, and I said to her, I fear I am not the child's father. Now I adjure thee by the Most High Tezavot, the mighty Yahweh, by the King of all ages, the Echad, the Son of Heaven, that thou recount truthfully everything for me, whether thou hast sinned against me or not. Thou must recount truthfully for me, without lies, the Son from thee is unique, unlike any other sons of men. I adjure thee by the King of all ages that thou wilt speak truthfully with me without lies. Then Betonos, my wife, spoke with me very harshly and wept exceedingly and beat her breast and was deeply cut to the heart. And she said, O oh, my brother and my husband, recall for thyself my sexual pleasure that I shared with thee, and remember my love. In the heat of intercourse and the gasping of my breath in my breast, I am telling thee everything truthfully, and thou shouldest believe everything. I say to thee entirely, then my mind wavered greatly within me. Now when Bitanus, my wife, saw my demeanor had changed because of my exceeding anger against her for speaking harshly to me, then she suppressed her anger and spoke with me, saying to me, O oh, my husband and my brother, remember our union, and recall my pleasure, I swear to thee, by the Kodesh One, by the King of Shamaim, Melech Shamaim, that I am not lying, but I am speaking truthfully, that this seed is from thee, and from thee this conception, and from thee the planting of this fruit, my son has truly born from thee, and not from any stranger, nor from any of the watchers, nor from any of the sons of heaven, of Shamayim, the Bene Elohim. Why is the shape and the appearance of thy face changed and contorted like this? and thy ruach wavering upon thee like this. I promise thee by oath that I am not lying, but am speaking truthfully with thee. Then I, Lamech, er, ran to Methuselah, my father, and told him everything that happened and I began to beg him to help me and go to Enoch, Hanak, his father, in order to learn everything from him with certainty, since he is a beloved one and a friend of Elohim, and with the Kodesh one, is his lot apportioned, 
for they make everything known to him when Methuselah heard what I spoke unto him and saw my grief his he ran to Enoch his father to learn everything truthfully from him so that whatever he should say we should act accordingly to his will and he went through the length of the land of Viruim, and there he found the ends of Eretz, ends of the earth, and called out to Enoch, and he said to Enoch his father, O oh, my father, O oh, my father, my master, I have come to thee for the controversy of my son, and that thou sh uh, should revealest the truth, the amet to me. And I say to thee, do not be angry that I have come here to see thee about earthly matters. For I know thy great prominence, and fearful of, of thee, my father. And Enoch heard the voice of his son calling out, and he left his abode, and appeared to him. And he said unto Methuselah, my father, Oop, Mr. Verse, fearful of these, my father, and behold, Hanani, here I am, my son. Wherefore hast thou come to me? And Methuselah, my father, answered and said, Because of the great cause of anxiety, I have come to thee. And because of a disturbing vision, and now, my father, Shema, hear me, the wife of my son, Limach, convinced or conceived, and became pregnant, and she gave birth to a child, and the like of whom there is none. And his nature is not like man's nature, and the color of his body is whiter than snow, and had been born which was glorious in appearance. But Lamech was exceedingly fearful and did not believe that he was his father. And when Lamech saw the child open his eyes, light filled the room at the house which the rays of the sun and the child arose in the hands of the midwife, and opened his mouth, and kodeshed the Yahweh of heaven, and his father Lamech became afraid and fled to me, and did not believe that he was sprung from him, but that he was in the likeness of the Melachim of Shamaim, the Bnei Elohim, or the angels of heaven. And he said unto me, my father, I have begotten a strange son, diverse from and unlike man, and resembling the sons of the geodes of heaven. And his nature is different, and he is not like us, and his eyes are of the rays of the sun and his countenance is glorious 
It seems to me that he is not sprung from me, but from the angels, and I fear that in his days a wonder may be wrought on the earth, and now, my father, I am here to petition thee, column three, implore thee that thou mayest go to Enoch, our father, and learn from him the truth, for his dwelling place is among the angels. And so I have come. Lots of footnotes. We're just going to skip through those rascals. To summarize chapter 3, uh, Hanak prophesies of the destruction of the world by a flood because the sins resulting from the corruption of creation by the watchers. He prophesies a chosen one intended by Yahweh to preserve a remnant. He prophesies about the future history related to the coming of the Chosen One. So, chapter 3, starting in verse 1, And Hanak answered him, The things of the earth will not last forever, but Yahweh will do a new thing on the earth, for all shall be renewed, but not for the length of many days. This I have already seen in a vision, and make known to thee. For in the days of Yirad, my father, some of the angels of Shamayim transgressed the word of Yahweh, and behold, they committed sin and transgressed the Torah, the law, and dwelt the sons of Elohim with children. And they begat children by them, and whom shall become giants, and according to the Ruach, the spirit, but according to the flesh, and they will remain on the earth until the days of wrath comes. The sons of angels, the giants, will sin greatly and imitate the iniquity of their wicked fathers, and they will be for you a plague and a curse, and a great punishment will befall the house of mankind, and upon Eretz, the earth, and upon all that is in it, and there shall be a purging of all impurity. Yea, there shall come a great destruction that will last one year, and a deluge. It will be over all of the earth. The flood of Mayim waters will come, and wash away all iniquity and wickedness that dwells in your land and that dwell in my land. For this sea shall cover the entire world, but Yahweh Elohim will replant all the creatures and the earth. He will place all of it as one fruit. The earth will be repopulated through the chosen one, and he shall refill through an ark the earth and in it he 
calls his people. Now, then, go, and report these words to thy son Limach, and be assured that all these things I speak to thee truthfully, that without lies. I have revealed them to thee, and reaches up as a spring to everything with. He is one who will divide the earth. Very fragmented in this part. So I'm just going to read the columns. Uh, 25 and for food. 26 he gave to Mitsu Methuselah, his son, 27, Methuselah, his son, understanding, and, 28, to him that in every sea, Yahweh will give to him for an everlasting name, blank, <laughs> forests, and entail, uh, these are all fragmented, the womb, from the womb, entail, and on his name, and he gave to, I, I think this may have been edited, <laughs> so as we get through uh, now, they will cause much trouble, and the why above for the ages, much and the evil. I decide to enact judgment and justice upon of the great Kodesh one and an end from them off the face of the earth, not having the name upon them. So when we get down to verse 17, it starts up with a very good text. So it says, Shall wait for those days till an end is made to those who work evil, an end of the might of transgressors, and wait ye until, indeed, till sin has passed, away, for their name shall be blotted out of the book of Kai, the book of life, and out of the Kodesh Sephers, and their seed shall be destroyed forever, and their spirits shall be slain, and they shall cry and make lamentations in a place that is a chaotic wilderness, and in the fire shall they burn, for there is no earth there, and I saw there something like an invisible cloud, for by reason of its depth I could not look over and I saw a flame of fire blazing brightly, and things like shining mountains circling and sweeping to and fro. And I asked one of the Kodesh Melekim angels who was with me, and said unto him, What is this shining thing? For it is... For it is not a heaven, but only the flame of a blazing fire, and the voice of weeping, and crying, and lamentation, and a strong pain. And he said unto me, This place which thou seest, here are cast the spirits of wicked and the sinners, and blasphemers, and 
of those who work wickedness and of those who pervert everything that Yahweh hath spoken through the mouth of the prophets, even the things that shall be, for some of them are written and inscribed above in the Shamayim, in the heavens, in order that the angels may read them and know that which shall befall the transgressors, the sinners, and the spirits of the humble, and of those who have afflicted their bodies and have been recompensed by Elohim, and of all those who have been put to shame by the wicked men, who love Elohim, and longed not after earthly food, but regarded everything as a passing breath, and lived accordingly, and Yahweh tried them much, and their ruach, their spirit, found pure so that they should kodesh and esteem his name. And all the kodeshing, the blessing destined for them, I have recounted in the books. And he hath assigned them their recompense, because they have been found to be such as loved heaven more than their lives in the world. And though they were trodden under foot of wicked men, and experienced abuse and reviling from them, and were put to shame, yet they kodeshed me, they esteemed me. And now I will summon the Ruach of the good, the righteous, who belong to the generations of Ur light, and I shall transform those who were born in darkness, who in all flesh were not recompensed with such honor as their faithfulness deserved, and I will bring forth in shining light those who have loved my Kodesh name, and I will seat each on a throne of his honor, and they shall be resplendent for times without number, for righteousness is the judgment of Elohim. For to be the elect, he will give th trustingness in the habitation of Ashar, upright paths. And they shall see those who were born in darkness led into darkness, while the righteousness shall be resplendent, and the wicked shall cry aloud and see them resplendent, and they indeed will go where days and seasons are prescribed for them. Chapter 4 of the Book of Lamech, the summary of Chapter 4. Hanak concludes his prophetic discourse by ensuring Methuselah that Lamech is truly the father of Noah, and he should send this message to Lamech, and that he should inform him about the great things that his father should be named, or his son should be named Noah, and that he is the one chosen through whom Yahweh will restore peace 
and purity to the earth. Methuselah informs his son Lamech about his son Noah, and Lamech rejoices that he is truly the father of Noah. I'm going to try to read this to the best of my ability as flowing with keeping the the names Kodesh and through the fragments. So, he wrote all of them in a scroll, a sefer, as a remembrance, all the words in which Enoch had revelated to Methuselah, and Enoch said, Now to thee, Methuselah, my son, I shall receive the truth to thee concerning the paternal origin of this child. For when I, Enoch, prayed to Elohim concerning this matter, it was revealed to me that this child is not from the B'nai Elohim, the sons of heaven, but from Limech, thy son, has he has been born. As to why his son had such a marvelous and glorious birth, and in resemblance, he is not of the sons of men, but is in the resemblance of the sons of angels. And as to why he spoke as a man, and not as an infant, shall I reveal to thee, because of the marvelous and glorious manner of the birth of Lamech's son, and his appearance, thy son Lamech was afraid, and also from his speaking as a man, and truly praising Yahweh. Truly trusting he is that he is Elohim, now I am talking to thee, my son, and making known to thee all that thou hast asked me about. Then in a met truth will he be known. Go, say to Limak, Thy son, the child, is truly from thee, and not from the sons of heaven, not from the stranger, and his elevation on the earth, and every act of judgment I will entrust to him. For he has called out to me from his heart, and he lifted his face to me, and his eyes shone like the sun, and filled the enti entirety of the house. This happened because this child is a light, and he shall bring shalom, rest, to the earth, and through him his three sons shall be saved and their families, and thy seed from a stranger shall not be found amongst thy refuge of thy son. His name shall be called Nia, N-I-H, for he shall be left to thee. He his sons shall be saved from destruction, which shall come upon the Eretz, the earth, on account of all transgression and sin, and unrighteousness. Then they will be ensnared and destroyed, who are not of Neo's people, and the destruction that shall come will be consummated 
forever giving accord to their impurity unto its limit. But after that there shall be still more unrighteousness on the earth, and they shall be doing much violence, and will act until the second consummation in this manner. And they shall sin worse than this generation, and they will boil over and every path of violence they will walk and they will go astray from all my commandments and statutes. And now I am making known to thee, my son, the mysteries of the Kodesh Echad, the Kodesh One, which I have known, and to Limak, thy son, make known by this mystery all that Yahweh has shown me, and informed me, and I have read in the heavenly tablets what will be done in his days. And look, I see all that Yahweh is doing through thee, and know that thy son Neo shall be Kodeshed of Yahweh of all in his ways. When Methuselah heard all the words which Enoch spoke unto him, he left Viruim and returned unto Nia. And he spoke with Lamech his son the mystery which Enoch he has found written in the heavenly tablets concerning his son. And when Lamech heard all the words which my father Methuselah spoke unto me, all the words which Enoch spoke unto him, I was rejoicing from rejoicing that from me the Yahweh of all had brought forth a son. Special fragments uh, in place of uncertain origins in the fragments. Uh, we'll read through them, see if there's anything we can glean from them. This is from IQ 19, Fragment 1, and I'll do them by lines. 1. And he was. 2. They increased in number and upon the earth and. 3. Because all flesh had corrupted its path on the earth. 4. And their cry came before Elohim and. Now, uh, this would be fragment two, one. Kodesh ones of the heaven, saying, present our case of Yahweh Tezavot, and not under you, for Revel and Gibriel and Machiel and Siriel. Yahweh Tezavot, Yahweh of hosts, the mighty one of the ages. Oh, fragment 19, eight, or excuse me, 8 speaks of Methuselah. Fragment 13 says, Because of thy esteem of thy splendor, blank, for your esteem, the esteem of Elohim in to he will be exalted in the splendor of the esteem and the beauty three he will be honored in the midst and we've got a few more footnotes 
and that looks like the uh, text that we have in its entirety. I'm going to be all over this. If any of my listeners, students, if you have any information on the book of Lamech or any other ancient Sepharim from your countries that your ancestors, your forefathers have held that may be not known, I'm very interested in them. And please contact me. Uh, with that, I wish you perfect peace and a wonderful week leading up to your Shabbat that brings Yahweh to the uh, doorpost of your heart. Shalom.